morning to you. Yeah, a little bit of uh, blue. There will be some sunshine for a while. Good morning to you. But it's a, sort of a confused sky behind me here. This is a weather watcher picture taken a short while ago in the northeast of England, where we've got rain not far away, actually, through this morning. But if we look at the bigger picture, it's out in the Atlantic where we've got this thickening cloud here. And that's going to bring some rain to some areas from the southwest. Ahead of that, we still have low pressure bringing these clusters of showers. And this is the rain our picture over the past few hours the wetter weather affecting Scotland and northern parts of England you can see it's moving slowly eastward so the worst of those downpours will push away into the North Sea the showers become fewer and there'll be some sunshine for a while but in the southwest it's clouding over we get rain developing through the morning in southwest England and Wales and through the afternoon that rain nudges into Northern Ireland through the Midlands and towards the southeast of England. And it's going to be quite a windy day for the time of year across England and Wales, less so for Scotland and Northern Ireland. And here, temperatures are only going to be around 18 or 19 degrees. The highest temperatures ahead of the rain in some eastern parts of England, 22 or 23 degrees. But it's a going downhill sort of day uh, today for the test match in terms of the weather. I think there will be some interruptions. Worst case scenario, we could lose the afternoon and the evening session. Let's hope the rain holds off, but it is going to be pushing in from the west and this rain will then work its way northwards overnight towards a good part of Scotland. Northernmost parts of Scotland stay dry and clear and on the cooler side, but otherwise with a lot of cloud and maybe the rain easing off, it will be a warm start to uh, Monday. But again, we have low pressure and most of the rain around that area of low pressure in northern areas. That weather front moving through is just going to hang around uh, through the English Channel. So some outbreaks of rain here along the south coast for a while, threatening the far southeast of England. That rain moves its way northwards across more of Scotland. And then we see some showery outbreaks of rain coming into Northern Ireland over the Irish Sea into northern parts of England and Wales. But hopefully further south, something a little bit drier, something a bit drier, I think, for the uh, cricket and maybe some uh, late sunshine coming through as well. But on the whole, another cool sort of day. And we're on the cooler side of the jet stream. That's that strong upper wind and that's going to be driving in more areas of low pressure as we head into the start of August and then later on uh, in the week we're going to find a northerly wind and that's certainly not going to warm things up at all and it looks like we're stuck with what we've got really for the foreseeable future in actual fact and this is the outlook here you can see it's not pleasant a reading at all temperatures are on the cooler side we are going to find something a bit drier perhaps with some showers on Tuesday. Wednesday looks like quite being quite wet for England and Wales. Then that northerly wind brings some sunshine and showers. No sign of the weather improving just yet as we head into August. Back to you two. Thank you very much, Darren. It's depressing, isn't it? The <laughs> kids are all off. On, you know, lots of people staying at home for summer holidays, staying in the UK.